the entire display is centered around that pinhead mask, his self-titled mask. I mean, that's what I took from what he said, right? Hello there, maggots. It's Lauren here. Happy Maggot Monday. Welcome back for week two of Halloween, whatever the heck I'm doing. I hope you guys are doing fantastic and you are enjoying October because it is a great month to be alive. I must admit, I'm kind of winging it with the Slipknot content this month. I'm not kind of winging it. I'm definitely winging it. Before we get to the video today, I do want to share this piece of art. The man, the myth, the nails. Look at him. So, uh, yeah, still sealed in the plastic because that's how I roll. There we go. He's going to join us. So today, in the spirit of winging it, we're going to check out a channel that I've been meaning to check out for probably a year. It's the House of Masks channel. House of Masks channel there might be like the video to see but i'm gonna go with this one which is biggest slipknot mask collection in the world good enough for me so i figure you know halloween masks it it works right it works all right here we go What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day and welcome to update week. Who starts their week on a Friday? Probably nobody, but it has been quite some time since we've done some proper updates and I feel like those are in order. I don't even remember the last time we did a Slipknot collection update as a whole, so that's what today's video is going to be. But then the goal is to fill you guys in with some other collections. I want to show you guys the Myers collection, I want to show you guys the Guar collection, and if Menards can get my lumber in for these custom shelving units for Buckethead Land and we can get those up, I'd like to give you guys a Buckethead Land update. So just consider this update week. We're winding down from Halloween and I want to fill you guys in on some stuff that's been changing here at the building. Now, as I mentioned, today's update video is going to be on the Slipknot collection, and right now it's looking pretty solid. So I guess without further ado, I'll just take you guys out here, show you what we've got going on, and talk about what the future holds. Let's go. There's an ad, hang on. All right, so here is the Slipknot wall. This is about one half down, and there is an entire other half that goes this way, which you guys will see shortly. Cut and for points. anybody that's new here, I do believe that I have the largest Slipknot mask collection in the world. And not only that, but for the most part, all of these pieces are high-quality replicas. So it's not a quantity over the quality thing. I've bottom. never been that type of way. I would I much rather that. have one nice mask than ten shit masks. But I just so happen to have both quality and quantity, and I'm very, very proud of that. So as I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I've ever even shot a Slipknot update video since we started putting these shelves up. I think I posted some teasers and I've definitely posted a lot of photos of it, but I don't know that I've ever shot a strictly Slipknot mask collection video since we've been in the new House of Masks building. So I'm going to take you guys down off the tripod, give you a full run That's through, a lot of explain jellies. some stuff, and show you what I have planned for the future. One jellies. thing to keep in mind here though is that nothing is permanent. This is all trial and error. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly works, what I like the most, what I don't like, and maybe eventually it will be complete, but I doubt it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start down here on the true left side of the collection. Now, this is the first thing that you'll see when you walk into the mask room what right on your body? left side. You'll see these two glass IKEA shelves and then a main tower right here in the middle that obviously has some masks on it. And while this is mainly going to be a mask collection update, we will go ahead and touch on some other Slipknot stuff because it is displayed with the masks here in the main mask room. So we'll start with these two glass IKEA shelves. I'll just quickly run you through some of the stuff Ikea that's in represent. there. I have a lot of original pieces from my childhood, both of these lines lunch boxes are from my childhood, a bunch of these patches, tons of CDs and VHS pieces. And then there's just some other VHS. random stuff that I've collected through the years. This bottom shelf is obviously all Sid stuff from his store. And then we've got some random pieces that were sent in for like Mailbox Monday, this different magazine stuff. collectibles, stuff like that. And then moving over to the other side, I'll go ahead and open one of these up so you guys can take a look at some of the stuff in here. Um, we've got used drumsticks, we've got different signed stuff, some random ticket stubs, just stuff like that. I've had this mask since I was like six. I actually took it to OzFest 2004 and got it signed. And then Six. just some more random stuff throughout. But the main attraction over here on this wall is going to be this tower right here in the middle. And as you can see, most of these are masks. Now there is a We Are Not Your Kind video jumpsuit in the back and a pair of drumsticks. But everything else is a mask. And these are some more special pieces than what would normally be on this wall. 
Not that the stuff on this wall isn't special, but these ones kind of stand alone by themselves. So I'll quickly explain these. Here we have a real .5 clown. Here we have two original pieces. This is an original incredible crash test dummies mask, which would be Corey's first mask. And then Corey's second mask. This that is an original ghost glow, and they both have the tags me. with them. Here we have my first ever vintage West German clown. Here we have one of six of the real Grammy clowns that were made by the person that made clown's actual Grammy mask. And then up here, we've got two special Joey pieces. This is going to be a backup mask that he actually gifted to somebody during OzFest of 2001. You and here have we have the first Slipknot piece that Joey signed since leaving the band. And I always thought that this one was super cool because he still signed it with a number one, which makes this a really special piece for me. And yeah, down here in the corner, we've got some random Slipknot props, as I like to random call them. Keg. We've got the Jack in the Box from some of the self-titled promo shots. We've got Sid's little Easter Unlimited skull. We have the same exact keg that Clown used during the self-titled album cycle with the same exact stenciled spray painted letters and then finally we've got a joey symbol that i've had since childhood i just think that those look nice down there on the ground and that will bring us to the main wall <laughs> Da -da -da. All right, the main wall, and I guess we will start with what everything was built around, the bust set. This was the first thing that was ever displayed That's in so this creepy. room, <laughs> and the shelving units were pretty much built around this. So this is the foundation, and I'm definitely happy with how this is right now. But as for everything else, I do believe that it is extremely temporary. So keep that in mind as I'm showing these off. We definitely are going to have to make some changes, and I will go about telling you guys what those are as they come up in conversation. So... Just a sec. Did you see how Pinhead was like in the middle, like right in the middle? I feel like based on what he just said, the entire display is centered around that Pinhead mask, his self-titled mask. I mean, that's what I took from what he said, right? That's what he meant, right? This is quite something. If you guys have any masks, uh, tell me below. I'm pretty sure this guy has videos dedicated to each person. Why are there so many Joeys? Like, Joey takes up the length of the wall. This is very cool though. We'll start down on this corner again, and I'll just basically run you guys through what each shelf is. Here down below, we've got my mix. Mix masks were never really a priority for me, my so mix. I never really spent much time or effort collecting his masks in Aww. general. Although I do have some from most of the albums. His masks just didn't have the magic that I felt with a lot of other Slipknot members, so I focused on them. And I do pick up Don't mix masks when I can as the opportunities arise, but I do not go out of my way to make sure that I have them. I'd say that my favorite piece from the mix collection is definitely the original battered hockey mask over there in the corner. That is an original Distortions Unlimited Battered Hawk. That one is a recast. That is an original Leather Devil. And then the rest of them are just really nice replicas. And that brings us down to the Craig set. Definitely one of my favorite setups, not only because I have Obviously. some one-of-a-kind pieces like that clown, but also because everything here is legitimate. All of these are actual youth space helmets with actual MBUs. And just look at Craig's masks. Those are so fucking cool. Hands down, yeah. one of the coolest Slipknot creations of all time. Moving right down into the Iowa sets, and these were all done by Drop Bear Studios. If you guys don't know who that is, make sure to go check him out. He is killing it in the Slipknot replica game, and these are actually his early Iowa Craig, so he's actually done a new sculpt since then, and I'm sure that they're even better. Then, of course, Iowa we Craig. have the Bust set. Definitely one of my favorite projects in the House of Masks history, and that brings us down to the number three shelf. Now, this spans oh, from gosh. everybody from Cuddles <laughs> to Darner to Chris Fane all the way down to New Guy, and that leads us into the Little Paul collection, another person that I never really focused heavily on their masks. I do pick them up from time to time when the opportunity arises, but once again, I don't really go out of my way to seek out Paul masks. That will change in the near future as I start wrapping up my Jester set and stuff like that. I will start knocking out different Pauls. I definitely would like to have a nice, clean, crispy Iowa setup for Paul because I really do enjoy the Iowa masks. I think that those were some of crispy. his coolest masks, so we will get there, I promise. As for all this other okay. stuff you see, it's actually the bucket headland display in Desiree right now. I got rid of the old shelves, but that's a story for a different time. So just ignore the fact that all this buckethead stuff is spread out here on the floor and we will okay. go up to the second shelf. Obviously, this is the Corey shelf and I am definitely out of room. It kind of started <laughs> to wrap back up there with the newer Corey scores as well as the oddballs. They started Marcus coming County. down off of their top shelf because I ran out of room up there and had to start wrapping them around right there. So those are definitely temporary setups. I will have to figure out something for the Corey shelf. He's probably going to get his own shelf down below. Something that we had discussed is starting shelves from these first brackets that go all the way down to the banner, and then they break, and then they start again and go down to the very last bracket, just like on this side. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, K. 
can you just wait a minute mocha in the house there we go and there we go okay back to it sorry so it would be totally symmetric, but it would give me the opportunity to display stuff on the floor and then have a second shelf there for more masks. And I think that's the route that we're going to go. And then Corey will end up getting his own shelf somewhere down there so that I don't have to worry about running out of room for him. So then up above Corey there, we've got the 0.5 new guys. We've got V-Man down here and we've got J right there. I am working on my J set. I would like to have a completed J set before long. And then the V-Mans are what they are. I pick those up the same way that I would Paul masks or Mick masks or whatever. I don't go out of my way to get them. Move Moving away from the Jays, we start our Sid set backwards. So we're going from We Are Not Your Kind down through Iowa, and then all the way at the end there, we have some self titled stuff. So we will follow that along, and I'll take you Sid guys to the upper faces. shelves, which are going to be Clown and Joey. Clown goes all the way down to the oddball mask setup. And like I said, I am running out of room for the oddballs on there, so they're going to be moved. That way I can keep clown stuff going. And I think that the clown shelf is probably going to be one of its own by the time all is said and done for that one. And then and the Joey's, I actually am not happy with the way that they're set up. My original plan was thinking that I would have enough at the end of the day to stretch them all the way across down to the end. And that is not just the case. I think even if I had a replica of every single Joey right? mask, it just would not be enough. Just so I think I'm going to move little... all of these down to where it's symmetrical and starts dead even in the room. That way half of it's on this side and half of it's on this side. I don't know yet, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the way that it's going to go. And there may even be another shelf above that so the Joey's might go up and then over if that makes any sense to you guys. Now I kind of skipped over Jim here and I did not mean to do that, but that is another shelf that's probably going to have to change, which is why we would be adding a shelf to the bottom and a shelf to the top to try to make everything fit on this wall because I want this to be the Slipknot wall. I don't really want it to go anywhere else. It just seems to make the most sense to try to capture everything in one shot. So that has always been the goal with the Slipknot mask collection. I've always wanted everything to just be uniform on one wall, not scattered about a room. So I think if we add a shelf down here, all the gyms and quarries would be taken care of. If we add another top shelf, I can get all the oddballs there. And if we move the Joey's, everything should work out pretty perfectly. The gym shelf is definitely about to be overflowing. I've got two more gyms that are going to fill in these spots right here. So we've got to make something happen very soon because as you can tell, there's just no more room there and it jumps straight to Corey. Now I would say that if something happens to where everything's not going to fit here, what we would do is take these shelves and just build corners, get rid of all this stuff and bring these shelves out to the doorway. And then I would take this setup and I would actually move all of this stuff, except for the stuff that's down there, over to this side, which as you can see, has a little bit of slipknot overflow. We've got my jumpsuits here. We've got some custom masks here. And then we've got my little magazine collection here. Now, none of this is a permanent setup. I just needed a place to what? stick this stuff because Is it really didn't person? have a place and I didn't really want it sitting in totes for longer than it had to. So I figured I'd throw it up over here right now. And uh, it kind of relates to this stuff because this stuff there. is like jumpsuits, merchandise, stuff like that. But I'm definitely not super, super stoked with the way that it looks. So if we do have to do some sort of overflow, like these shelves bloody. will just come around this corner and out towards the doorway. And this setup will be over there. And then maybe even that stuff can go against this wall. As you can see, we've got some of the totes that that stuff was in. But uh, yeah, that's all way, way in the future. So I don't know. All right, so there. What are oddball masks? Does that just mean miscellaneous ones? Or is that something I should know? My guess is that's just miscellaneous ones. Like maybe something they wore one time. Let's keep going. There you have it. There is your latest Slipknot update. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am going to leave you guys with some nice slow panning shots to kind of give you a better idea because that entire time I the was just talking pan. with my hands and showing you exactly what was changing, what the plans were, all that stuff. So I'll leave you with some nice, calm, atmospheric shots of the collection to let you really see everything that's there. And I think that will be that for this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoy update week. I'm really excited to shoot the Guar one and I'm definitely excited to shoot the Halloween one. The Buckethead one is kind of iffy. I definitely want to get it done, but that is kind of out of my hands. I'm at the mercy of Menards getting the correct lumber in because I want it to be absolutely perfect. I definitely wasn't happy with the last shelving units, but we finally got those out of there and everything's going to be custom built just like these shelves are. So I think that it's gonna work out a lot better. It's just a little bit more money and a little bit more time. But as soon as that's done, I will do an update video on Buckethead Land as well. So yeah, what do you say we go ahead and wrap this video up? Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to collecting. And we'll see you guys later. I like this guy. There's another ad. Hang on. I'll let you know when it's back. It's back. So, um...
Yeah, let me know if there's other videos from this guy I should check out. I know he has a lot of just unboxing kind of videos. So let me know. Um, yeah, I like this guy's style. You can tell he really cares. That's good. There's just some freaky... I don't know if I could... <laughs> like, be in this room at night with the lights off. That does not look like Pinhead. <laughs> Underneath. He needs to get, like, a um, pinhead, like, real Craig Jones head replica to put underneath of that. That'd be cool. Yeah, this is quite a collection. And, like, <laughs> freaky. <laughs> yeah, that mask right there, I don't know what that's about, but that is freaky. That's probably the freakiest thing in this video. I love the pinhead mask though. I mean, come on. And Sid's, Sid's great chapter mask, I've always liked that one. And what's with that baby? The baby head? What was that about? Thank you for answering my questions, assuming you have answered my questions below. I always ask you a lot of questions. Special shout out to AJ. Cool collection, dude. Oh yeah, like these, uh, every, like here's every Corey Taylor Slipknot mask ever. Like that might be fun to do, like a pinhead one. I'd probably just do a pinhead one because I freaking love pinhead. He is the greatest, in case you weren't aware of that. Thank you for watching this very random video, but you know, Halloween masks, it works, right? To me, it works. Hope your October has been awesome so far. Just the perfect amount of spookiness. And uh, you're enjoying yourselves because that's important. I hope you're enjoying yourselves these days. If you can narrow it down to your favorite mask of any of them, any era, that would be interesting. One mask for everyone, like the best mask in your opinion of everyone, all the eras. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed some masks today and I'll see you next Maggot Monday for something else. Enjoy the rest of your day and your week and I'll see you for the next one. Um, I have some friends here with me. That's not sad. I don't know what it is. I need help. Because this magazine is now a living thing. I'm sitting on my foot. Because I had to... I had to make room for the, the boys over here. Because, uh... Pinhead. Freaking Pinhead. Anyways. Wait. You get caught up. She, she just really loves to sit on my lap. And so... Hang on. Let me, let me stop everything. All right. Okay. Sorry if you got a little more than you bargained for there. I guess that will do it for this Slipknot week. This, no. What is this? See ya.